Okay, let's take a look at this uh, program. So I'm going to let's see, extract it. And um, okay, bring up the solution file. Uh, let's see, yeah, open it. And um, see our form. Okay, so you got um, from list box, you got to list box. Label is convert distance label. Distance to convert text box. Okay. And then a button, I'm assuming when you click it, um, does a conversion. Okay, so double, okay, double. Um, distance from, bring it in, converting it, okay. Um, okay, okay, I see what's, I see what you're doing. Um, measurement from and measurement to. You get your switch statement. Car, case yards, case. Okay, switching yards to yards, so it's a direct conversion. Okay, you're converting yards to feet. You're multiplying it times three, yeah, and then to times three times twelve. Okay, so feet to feet, um, same. Um, feet to yards divided by three. Okay, and then um, wait a minute, feet to inches. Okay, times twelve. Okay, and then you got inches down here. Inches to inches. Okay, I think I understand. So I run that build errors. Um, use of unassigned local variable distance to. Okay. Um, this distance to two string you don't got set equal to a value. Uh, converted to um, converted to distance label. That's the distance to convert from. Okay, so this this is I guess where your answer is going to go. So converted to distance label. Okay, so you bring in that converted. To don't want to, I don't think we want this in here there we go okay so you got down here um, measurement two oh, okay you just bring in which local okay I see and then down here after your break and now this may be the tricky part figure out where in the world the breaks at if I highlight that Okay, so it should occur right after that line. So this should be your converted distance label dot uh, text equals distance to to string. I think. Yeah, I didn't like something there. Use of unassigned local variable. Okay, what that means is after you declare this up here. Um, since it's buried in your switch statements, that they're not sure it actually ever gets assigned a value. So easy to correct. You come up here, you set it equal to zero. Okay, let's try that. See if I still got an error. Okay, so um, I don't know. Put in um, let's see twelve, and I'm gonna go from inches to feet, and click the button, and that's not working. Okay, so I'm gonna put a breakpoint in here. And let me, um, oh, st okay, yeah, so start debugging. And I'm going to go from 12 inches, and I want to convert that to feet. So I click the button, kicks out here. Now I'm going to do my F11. Okay, and distance from is 12, so that's good. Okay, measurement from is zero. That's interesting. Measurement two is one. Okay, so this is referring to the um, the index, not the actual value. Um, 
and you want it to be the actual actual value yeah actual value okay so let me stop that and um, uncheck that and um, one thing I've always learned is don't destroy the code that's already there you may want to go back to it so um, I'm gonna comment it out and uh, then I'm gonna put this on the next line and um, I don't remember the syntax of this so let me, let me play with it a little bit okay dot selected selected item what's this return gets or sets current selected item in the list box dot to string okay I think that's the one I want let me come over here and comment this out so I don't destroy your code now I, t I tend to be kind of lazy about this and uh, after I do this I don't go back and, and uncomment things and get rid of them uh, which isn't a good practice okay so this one I want to be selected item dot two string okay so let me start oops I didn't put my breakpoint okay put my breakpoint in here somewhere in here run that okay so now I got 12 inches and I want to go from inches to feet okay so uh, let me put my mouse over distance from it says 12 that's good do an f11 now measurement from it says is inches and measurement uh, two is in feet and the first letter of each is capitalized okay so I'm not doing f11 I get down to here inches to feet okay f11 distance two will be one break will kick out of the the case statement and uh, of course they're embedded case statements so the, this break will kick out and it comes back there and let me go ahead and just click continue And gives us one okay and let me stop oops I meant to get rid of the breakpoint okay get rid of that breakpoint let's do some more testing I'm pretty sure it's uh, fixed now but 12 I went from inches to feet okay that's right put 24 there I get um, click the button to get two now let's put in 26 see how it handles decimals okay handles those just fine Okay, now I want to go from uh, three yards to feet. So, what is that? Um, nine? That's working. Okay. Um, but that's what, that's what was wrong with uh, your, your particular code here.